So one of the things I keep seeing pretty consistently across Facebook groups and guitar forums are questions like, are Harley Benton guitars any good? What's the deal with Harley Benton guitars? So as someone who's purchased three of these guitars over the past year, I figured I'd chime in and give you my experience with the brand, as well as give you seven things you should know before you purchase one. Let's dive in. So the first thing you're gonna to need to know about Harley Benton guitars is that they're sold exclusively through Toman Music and ToemanMusic.com, and they're located in Bavaria, Germany. So essentially that can lead to high shipping costs if you live in the UK or in the United States. With that said, there's a few workarounds you can use to help lower the shipping costs that I'll get into later in the video. And also consider that they have recently set up a reverb shop in the United States. Also notable is that Harley Benton is the in-house brand to Toman Music, much in the same way that Mitchell is the in-house brand to Guitar Center. So if you're lucky enough to live in Germany, you can stroll right into the shop and pick one off the floor. For the rest of us, we gotta worry about their shipping costs. The second thing to know about Harley Benton guitars is where they're made. According to Wikipedia, there's approximately 20 different plants that these guitars are made in, and those are all located across Indonesia, Vietnam, and China. I tried to get an idea of what models are located in what plants, and that turned out to be really difficult. So if you have any idea on how to track that down, by all means, leave that in the comments for us. And the third thing you're gonna need to know about Harley Benton guitars is pretty much the same thing you would need to know about all budget instruments, they're probably gonna need a little bit of work with regards to setup. A lot of times these guitars just need something simple, maybe it's intonation or a fret polishing. To be fair to Harley Benton, all three of the instruments that I bought had really stellar fret work. All they really needed was fret polishing. But just keep in mind, you may have to do a little bit of a setup when you get one. The fourth thing that you should know, and this is something that I encountered on all three instruments that I purchased from Harley Benton, was they had very minor finish blemishes. To give you a quick idea here, I'll show you the TE-20HH had a few spots where it looked like the buffing wheel went at it just a little too aggressively. And here the Fusion T, you can see there's a couple of pitting spots almost it looks like on this guitar, just little bumps in the finish, very minor. Uh, you know, I think most people would probably expect this on a budget instrument, but there are those who are looking for a perfect finish. And if you are, you may wanna look not only outside of Harley Benton, but perhaps outside of a budget instrument. The third guitar, the ST20, had a more considerable issue with the paint. Thankfully, it was on the back side of the guitar. It almost looks like someone had touched it with their fingers before it was clear coated, and this caused a bit of a blemish in the final coat. Um, either way, you know, on the back of the guitar, so for me, it didn't really matter, but for those who are considering these guitars, it is something to note. And in the spirit of being fair, you know, with budget instruments, you're going to find these types of blemishes in the sub 500 category, but also I have a lot higher dollar instruments that even have very tiny finished blemishes on them. That's not to say you might not get an instrument without any blemishes on them but it's been my experience with what I've purchased and what I've seen within a lot of the forums that these instruments tend to have these minor imperfections. And number five, these guitars definitely punch above their weight class. How far above is probably a bit subjective, but I can tell you that the Fusion T that I have, that guitar retails at about $270, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, I think it punches right around the $500 mark, right around double what you pay for it. So with that said, you know, it's locking tuners, Wilkinson tremolo, uh, Roswell El Nico 5 pickups, uh, Tusk Bone Nut, you know, it, it has a lot of features of higher end instruments and for the money, I just think you'd be hard pressed to find something better. Similarly, the fretwork on the ST20, which is a $79 guitar, was absolutely mind blowing for the price. So although, you know, you may have some minor issues to deal with with these guitars, for the money, they're just, I don't think there's a better value. Number six, these guitars make for excellent modding platforms because they have very good bones. I was really surprised to see how good the fret work was on all three of the guitars that I bought. The only thing I really needed to do was polish the frets. That's one of the main reasons these guitars have become the guitar of choice for budget aficionado guitar players is that you can get these guitars cheap, drop the pickup of your choice in it, and all of a sudden you have a really awesome guitar. And last but not least, number seven, and I wish I'd known this sooner, come closer. If you buy two instruments from Toman, the shipping is the same price. That's right, it's the same cost to ship two instruments as it is to ship one, which leaves you with an option. You can buddy up with a friend and each of you buy an instrument and split the cost of the shipping, or buy two guitars. That is definitely one of the things I wish I had known before I bought the first guitar from Toman because I likely would have ordered a second just to save to split that shipping cost. So ultimately, I think Harley Benton guitars are some of the best budget guitars available on the market today. 
I think you'd be hard pressed to find a better value for the money in today's market. With that said, it's very important to understand what you're getting when you get one, which was the point of this video. So if you'd like more information about the three Harley Benton guitars that I do own, be sure to check out this playlist right here. It's only all the different videos that I've done on those guitars. If you have any questions, by all means, leave them down in the comments as I do try to answer all the comments that come through on the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.